Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> so, I finally was able to put out all of these videos for my Woodstock Fruit Festival experience. And now I'm here to talk about my final thoughts on like the whole experience. And right now it's in winter. So, yeah, let's hope it's accurate. Uh, so, it was a great experience, even though I didn't want to be there at the time. I would rather have been at home and with my family and my partner and all of that rather than it was just like really out of my comfort zone in an odd way because I'm a very outgoing person but I guess it just wasn't at the right time of my life and I thought about going back again sometime but then I'm like do I really want to spend the money on that so I still did really enjoy it and it was really interesting to experience raw veganism which I didn't like raw veganism is not for me um and experience all the different types of people and meeting a whole bunch of different people was very lovely and i want to discuss some things that i would like to keep and practice personally that i had from um the woodstock fruit festival because there's a lot of things that i didn't really know about until i went there like laughing yoga is very fun and relaxing and i i love it like laughing yoga it's the the absolute best uh so and that's pretty much self-explanatory it's laughing yoga it's yoga while you're laughing and uh other than that i wanted to take forest bathing which is basically kind of like meditating in a forest pretty much and you just like get connected with your surroundings and all of these things that I'm mentioning I will try to do a video on each of them and so more videos to come I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this so I'm gonna bring my knowledge from the Woodstock Fruit Festival to here <clears throat> to you guys and other than that I like no wait circling I did learn but I don't really care for it that much because I don't know. I don't really need a therapist right now. I mean, I know I'm fucking crazy, but I don't need a therapist right now. And that's pretty much what it is. It's like a group therapy session. And what else? I thought there was uh, definitely more. I did want to stay vegan. I failed at staying vegan. It's really hard to go vegan. So if you guys can give me any tips, maybe I will make a video on the full process of me struggling to become vegan so i can document my experience and also that is going to give me more motivation to do to actually go vegan by telling you guys that i'm trying to go vegan so if you guys got any tips to help me start going vegan leave them down in the comments below i'll take a look at them and was there anything else that I wanted to mention. Um, <clears throat> so while I was at the Woodstock Fruit Festival, you probably saw that I had a book with me and I would journal in it. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned it at some point. And so basically I like wrote down like a journal entry every day. And there was also like a list. There's like notes from things I took, like manifestation. That was another one that I would like to take from the What's Act Fruit Festival, Manifestation. It's, I think about it a lot, really. And I think I'll do a video on that as well. And that was from Elise Bertram, which I like her channel. I haven't watched it that much because a lot of the things that she's been posting hasn't really uh, related to me in a way. So I think, but I used to really love her. She's the one that got me into like, introduced me to like raw veganism and stuff like that. And like, just like, I guess self-love maybe and oh yeah I wrote I also wrote <clears throat> a list of everything that I wanted to make when I got home because I was so starved for cooked food <sighs> oh my God. It, it was all vegan though but at, you know at the time crepe oh my god I took a lot of notes oh wait oh my gosh oh 
<gasps> okay, awesome, because I didn't mention this in the video or at the bottom of it because I totally forgot about the person, but you know that one, uh, like, lecture on masturbation? <clears throat> Um, I wanted to give you guys the like name of her and her channel and the name of her channel I'm pretty sure is the same as her name and it is Alana Perrick I believe that's how you pronounce it sorry if I don't pronounce it right but it's A-L-A-N-A P-A-R-E-H-K <clears throat> and I'll try to find her uh, her channel and link it in the description hopefully i can find it because i meant to do that because i really enjoyed her uh talk oh wait here it is i think it's ahana a a h a n a and again i'll still have it in the description do i really not have a list of things that i wanted to take from also if you guys want me to do a video about me reading um I guess my journal entries during that time or even discussing about the things that I learned like from all the lectures and stuff let me know I found it okay so I got the forest bathing and the laughing and hugging exercises as well which were really fun you've seen that um I vlogged all, all of those um oh yes the fresh squeezed orange juice I wanted to uh, make my own fresh squeezed orange juice because that is the absolute fucking best. If you've never had freshly squeezed orange juice, you need to try it because it is like 100% way better than anything you can buy in a store. And I know um, at Whole Foods, they do every so often have like a machine where you can go in and actually like freshly squeeze the oranges yourself pretty much but you know it's not really that much work and you just can buy it like that so that's an easier way to get freshly squeezed orange juice and that as well is so fucking delicious you don't even know unless you've tried it and on a deeper note i wanted to practice staying more in the present which i believe in a way i have done pretty much I mean right now I'm kind of like focused on the future because I want to get enough money to be able to start a huge project um, but right now I'm in school and I'm focusing on YouTube so I don't get that much money but I'm kind of just like hustling here and there and uh, which brings me to these last couple notes that I wanted to mention to you guys. Um, first of all, at 10,000 subscribers, because I saw a couple of you guys in the comments mention Patreon, I am going to start a Patreon at 10,000 subscribers. So we've got about, to round it up, we got about 3,000 to go. And also in the description i always forget to mention this as well i have my instagram i have a spotify playlist of all the music that i listen to and i also more recently have a gofundme and a cash app link so if you would like to actually physically uh, financially help my channel and me because like i said i'm not really working right now i'm just kind of uh hustling um as you could say you know doing a little job here a little job there but i'm focusing mainly on school and youtube and so if you want to help me you know support my help me with my education and help me with my youtube channel and all of the future things like if you guys want me to do more crazier things where i actually have to spend money i'm gonna need money to spend in the beginning so all both of those links are down there so if one doesn't work because i know somebody before said that the um the gofundme wasn't working so then i got cash up and that's down there as well and i don't know if i'll keep them both because i just started it out as like a curiosity thing but actually a couple people have already donated and i'm so grateful for that thank you guys so much like you guys make life easier for me when you do that because i don't 
have to work like I can focus on my education and I can focus on you guys and uh, entertainment and that's what makes me happy so if you guys would like to donate I would really appreciate it um, even like a small donation is like thank you guys so much you know um, write comments of what you want to see what you think I should post to patreon um, any other ideas uh, to hustle I'm not selling any pictures or shit like that <sighs> other than that I don't think there's anything else oh wait oh yeah um, I wanted to answer some questions that you guys left in the comments So first off, somebody asked, was there a lot of sex going on at the Woodstock Fruit Festival? No, there was like no sex going on. Um, they were, I'm pretty sure all the cabins were sex separated unless, I'm pretty sure there was like a couple that were a mixture of the sexes, but there was definitely not, like people were just like fucking everywhere that was not there was like no nudity either it was just not a thing that was happening there so yeah um so the fruit festival somebody asked is it for vegetarians or vegans or like you know who's it for um so the fruit festival is for anybody who is interested in any of these things it promotes spirituality it promotes healthy eating and exercising and you don't have to be raw vegan or vegan or vegetarian to go there there was many people that i met there that weren't even vegetarian um so it, it's pretty much for anybody who's interested in any of these topics you know yoga meditation just meeting new people because it is an amazing place to meet new people and uh, the fruit festival of course when you get there you are going to only be eating raw fruits and vegetables but it is for anybody it's not like you need a requirement to go there you just need to pay the money and go there and you will be accepted as long as you know you accept other people so it's for everybody long story short so let's see so what did this festival cost so this festival cost me about eleven $1 hundred dollars uh, mainly because I stayed in a cabin which is an extra I believe an extra hundred dollars about um, and uh, the sooner you buy the ticket the less it costs because the price goes up as it gets closer to the actual festival and so I bought it like as soon as it hit like like as soon as it came out after the previous festival I bought it and it was 1100 but you can also camp at that uh, at the Woodstock as well and it costs less to camp um, so it'd be like a thousand if you brought your own tent and camping materials and camp there as well let's see have you done a video about your weight loss no i haven't done a video about my weight loss um i really didn't well actually what during the woodstock food festival i lost so much weight i feel like i was like so thin and so just like very like it was like it was weird it was really weird right now i don't think I'm still really thin. I really do not fluctuate that much. Like I have a good amount of meat on my bones without, you know, being like actually like chubby or really skinny. Um, so I didn't make a video of that because it's not really a big part of my journey. Um, let's see, what else do we got? So somebody asked about if I have cash up. Yeah, this is the person that asked if I had cash app uh, because the fund me page isn't working. Again, all of my cash app and fund me uh, links are gonna be in the description. And you guys can donate to either one of those or both. 
shit hey whatever um let's see so you ever going to start a tiktok so i did start a tiktok actually after i saw this comment i did make a profile on tiktok have i posted anything yet no i haven't posted anything yet um i'm still trying to figure out the app to be honest i'm not that very tech savvy um but uh tell me how much of you guys would be interested in me doing tiktok i don't know how well i would be able to keep up with it or how interested i'm actually in with that but if you guys do want me to have a tiktok account and like regularly post to that shit i guess yeah i'll i'll try to do that um and if if i guess a lot of you guys say yeah bitch do tiktok um then i guess i'll start putting it in my description as well so right now i didn't post anything to that of course it's under sun kitten sun kitten is my username and i didn't post anything to that yet though so yeah let's see ever thought of a breast reduction if it's killing your back so actually my breasts do not hurt my back which is surprising but i work out my back a lot like i do a lot of um back exercises so it doesn't hurt my back it used to um have i ever thought of a breast reduction i'm sure i have what i actually go through with a breast reduction no i don't like surgeries that change your body that much although i have been always wanting a nose job because i hate my nose but you know that that's besides the point but i get a breast reduction no i just dropped my phone somebody else said what about bears there's no bears in Maryland. That was on my Patapsco uh, hiking trip. There's no bears at Patapsco in Maryland. That's what I'm not, not there's no bears in Maryland entirely, but in Patapsco, no, there's no bears. Sorry. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching this video like comment share and definitely subscribe and check out my description for all my links and i'll see you guys in the next sorry i just ran out of spaces on my phone but i will see you guys in the next video next week next sun sunday i'm posting every sunday now okay um so thank you guys for watching again bye